welcome to SSC online classes. Today our topic is of classics, topic is kinematics and the part we are going to discuss is acceleration. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. The rate of change of velocity. A body moving with a certain velocity and uniform velocity and variable velocity. If a body is moving with variable velocity uh, throughout the journey, its velocity may increase or it may decrease. When the velocity is increasing in a given interval of time, then the body is said to be accelerated. Let us suppose if the velocity is decreased in a given interval of time, then we can say that the body is in decelerating mode. That is also called as retardation. Now the mathematical expression for acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity by the time interval taken. Acceleration is equals to final velocity minus initial velocity. This is also written as change in velocity by time delay. Or else you can also represent using the symbols is V minus U by T. Or it also can be written as dV by dV. That is nothing but change in velocity by time delay. Now we are seeing the units for acceleration. As all of us know, acceleration is nothing but velocity by time delay. Its units will be in SI system, its units are meter per second square. In CGS system, its units are centimeter per second square. Now the dimensional formula for the acceleration is L power 1 T power minus 2. The quantity of the type of this quantity is vector quantity. Now, the next point we are considering is uniform acceleration. If suppose the rate of change of velocity of the body is maintained constant, then we can say that the object is moving with uniform acceleration. If the rate of change in velocity is constant then the body is moving with uniform The simple example we can see is the earth pulls every object towards its center with an acceleration due to gravity 9.8 meter per second square. Now we will be seeing the next topic that is variable acceleration. If the rate of change of velocity is not constant then we can say that the object is moving with variable acceleration. If the rate of change of 
velocity is not constant. The object or body is moving with variable Now we are going to see some big important graphs which are related to this acceleration, which will show uh, which kind of uh, uh, which kind of motion it is, whether it is uniform acceleration or variable acceleration. Now here the graph depicts here the graph depicts the curve between the velocity and time. The curve between the velocity and time. As it is a straight line passing through origin, we can also we can say that. The, the slope of this velocity time graph is constant, maintain constant. If you want to know the slope of the velocity time graph, what it will be? It will be acceleration. So here the acceleration is maintained constant. So in this graph we can say that the body is moving with uniform acceleration. Uniform acceleration. Now here in this graph, the slope of the line is negative. Here the slope of the line is positive, whereas here the slope of the line is negative. So the object is moving with in positive, positive uniform acceleration. That means uniform acceleration. Now here the body is the body is having negative slope. That means uh, acceleration is negative. That means uh, this body is decelerating at constant rate. So the so the acceleration is maintained constant, but it is retarded. But it is retarded. Now from this trick we can say that the velocity time graph is not linear here. It is not linear. So we can say that the object is moving with increasing acceleration. Or else we can also say it as it is moving with variable acceleration, which is increasing. It is not decreasing. Why? Because of the slope of this curve is positive. So we can say that the body is moving with increasing variable acceleration. Now the last graph. In this graph we can see that the graph is reversed. Here the slope is negative. The slope is negative. This tells that the body is moving with variable acceleration which is negative. That means the body is moving with decreasing variable acceleration now in this uh, in this in today's topic we have learned what is acceleration what are the units of acceleration what are the different kinds of acceleration and we also studied some of the important graphs which are related to acceleration so i hope all of you understand this thank you